Today on In the Woodyard, we've got a new toy. It's an electric chainsaw. Here we go. All right, so once again, we're here to play with toys. This is not it. This is a little bitty top handle saw that we have used on the channel before. It's a little echo. And this is the one we're gonna be using to compare to a brand new chainsaw you bought. Now, ask, I'm gonna ask you a question. Is it a steel? No, it's not a steel. Is it a Husqvarna? No. Is it an echo? No. Well, then what could it possibly be? It is a Ryobi. It is not a Ryobi. It's not a Ryobi, just kidding. <laughs> it is a Milwaukee, the new top handle fuel chainsaw 14 inch bar this just came out and the creators have already had them there's videos out on them they have really good reviews they just came out i heard good things about them. yeah they just came out yesterday um so i went and picked one up you literally bought it yesterday i got it yesterday my tool Sweet. guy ordered it last week and he said as soon as he could have it was thursday when they get released awesome so, so. this is it this is the first yep. so you did a little cutting with it I just cut over there. I haven't really ever cut with it. So you, oh, so it's brand new. So you said in the test that you had seen someone had done, it outcut what type of a saw? I saw that um, it outcut a ported 201T steel MS201T. Wow. So that's saying something. I and think the electric torque is just insane on these things. That's, well, they say the torque is tremendous on a lot of electric things. How's your battery? Has you got any life? It's full battery. Um, this is the biggest battery I own. I didn't want to buy a new battery when I bought the thing because these batteries are pretty expensive. Yeah, they're like, what, 150, 200 bucks? Yes. So this is just a 9.0. It's an older one. Um, it is really hot out here. It's been sitting in the sun. So, I hope it performs good. Yeah, it's it 90 doesn't, degrees today, so. If it doesn't, you probably won't see the video. <laughs> well, no, we're, we're going to make it work if we got to put some mice on there and make them run on a wheel. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what it does. Just hit the button. What is it doing? Don't even need air protection, really, do you? And then this is your brake? Yeah. Oh. And then it also has a little thing you push down. A lot of people have said they don't like this. They so might just put tape over it. Or... Oh, so if you let go, it shuts off. You can't you can't hit your trigger. So if you lift that up, you can't do anything. Oh, mm -hmm. so it's kind of... No, that's not bad. Because you can just get used to just bringing your hand up. Yeah, you probably want to wear earplugs. It's got a kind of a hole to it. Yeah, it is a little grind. So what does it weigh, do you know, with the battery? I don't know. It feels like to me. I'm used to heavy stuff, so. 10, 12 if pounds, that. maybe. Yeah. The battery's probably half that. Um, bar oil. Yep, bar oil. It's regular bar that's oil. That's a nice little uh, spot for... Oh, look at that. That's, that's handy dandy. I like that. Very cool. All right. Chain looks like it's tight enough. Oh yeah, okay. Let's do some cutting with it. Let's see it. Okay. You can really crank on this. Yeah. Nope, I can stop it if I push as hard as I can. Yep, you can stop it. I was pushing hard. I mean, yeah. real hard, just to see where to, if I could stop it. That's pretty dang impressive. I gotta say. I mean, that's every bit as fast as any little saw. Yeah. Okay. Let's start this puppy up and see what it does. That's real good. Just pulling it out of the barn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've been happy with that little echo. Right? <laughs> I don't know, Chris. I don't know. Uh, that would be awesome for cutting shooting lanes. Yeah. To go in there, just zip, 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 cut your brush down. Well, I'd like to keep this on my side by side, and when I go through the woods, like, oh, I just need to trim something. Like, yep. re you could riding. literally just reach out of the cage 
Right. You mop it. Yeah, if you're if you're ATV guy or yeah. side by side or even a snowmobiler. But it's so compact. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. That's the kind of tool that you, if you're a guy that has property, you could just always have on your tractor or in your truck. Yeah, and if you buy the Milwaukee, it's not like Milwaukee's going anywhere. Right. Some of these other electric small brands in five years, you're not gonna be able to get a battery or any parts for them. Right. But Milwaukee's gonna be around a long time, so. I would think so. And Milwaukee warranties are good on their stuff. They definitely take care of you. I think it's good. Yeah, it is very cool. I'm gonna do another cut. Okay, model 2826-20. Yep. There you go. But it takes the, uh, the M18s and uh, it's got the bar oil, 350 you said. 350 bucks is, yeah, it was And it's how big of a bar, 14 inch? 14 inch, I didn't notice it has this little hanger too. It's oh, look nice. at that, little hanger upper. Yeah, nice. Hang it on the wall. Yeah, we're just saying that if you know, you had a, a property where you had a tractor, a truck, you're taking it out and about and doing stuff, you could have this with you all the time and it would work with all your other tools, which is nice. That really nice little saw, I like it. I like it a lot as my good friend, Lloyd, Lloyd Christmas, Christmas would say. say. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves Lloyd. There you go. So we cut some cookies. Time to go have a snack. That's it for today, folks. See you tomorrow. I'll be there at 5.30 a.m. You're going to be there, too, and we're going to make another video, and you're going to get to see that one, too. So see you then. Good night, Irene.